Hello and welcome to Maya. This is Jason Welsh. I'm going to be taking you on a little journey into Maya and uh, showing you the navigation in this lesson. And uh, then in the next lesson, we're going to be building a small object out of parts. And those parts will not be mentioned yet because it's a surprise. So, um, first off, if you are absolutely new to Maya, this is a great lesson. If you've navigated in Maya before, um, this isn't much of a lesson, but being that this is uh, an actual class, I'm going to have you do this anyway. Follow along the steps. There will be no assignment for this class. It's um, just navigation. Okay, so when you first launch Maya here, all right, and this is the default state to Maya right here, and if it's not, if you don't get this state, um, when I click over this window, I get these. And I use the spacebar for that. So I can go into any of these views with the spacebar and make them the primary viewport. Okay, a lot of times this thing right here is in your way for this lesson. So I'm going to have you actually click the little arrow right here. It's a little tiny one. And it gets it out of the way. Alright, so click in this window with the space bar. If you hold the Alt down and click with the left mouse button and drag, I can look around. Okay. If I click with the right mouse button, I can zoom. And when I click with the middle mouse button, I can pan. So practice doing that, that's going to be the main thing. Once you get navigation down in Maya, you'll be a lot happier for it. But usually your fingers never leave the Alt key, just about. I mean, you're always, you're always having your left hand either over it or on it the whole time I'm modeling. All right, this thing over in the corner is my navigator. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I wanted a top-down view if instead of hitting the space bar and going into top I can click Y bam I'm in the top down X I'm in the perspective and this is my right hand and notice it says perspective but it's actually my right hand side view okay same with Z this is my front view and it's better to look over here at this at the one right here to sh actually show you where you are in like world space when I click in the middle I actually go back to perspective so instead of keeping click on the space bar which I have a habit of doing you can always use this navigator okay if that navigator does not show up it's called a compass and it's under view, camera settings, compass. And I can turn it on and I can turn it off. Okay, along with actually panning the camera around, we can also move objects. And I'm just going to put a simple object in here and have you move it around. Okay, so if we go up to the polygon menu at the top and let's put a square. Now just by clicking the square, a square that actually does not appear. I have to click and drag then click and drag. So two click and drag for the how big and how scaly you want it and uh, I click and drag to how much height you want on the object. And right now we're just kind of looking at um, the wireframe of the object. So if you were to hold, push 6 on the keyboard, 
it'll give you a shaded view. Alright, now I'll just show you how to actually move this object around. Alright, so if we go over to the move tool, it just does that. It moves it. So click it. And these little arrows right here will move it up, down, left, right. You should start becoming familiar with uh, the colors in Maya. They are very important. Okay, if I click on the object and look at this, um, the blue is actually Z. So I know this is my front of my object. Okay, This one is my X, so I know it's my right and left hand side. And Y is up and down. It's green. You can also look up here at the, the navigator and get an idea of what that is. So if I wanted to, let's say, scale in X, I would grab the red one and scale it in X. If I want to scale it in Z, grab the blue one, scale it in Z, and etc. and so forth. Green, Y. So you can make a really big box here. And if you click into the center of it, the yellow, it's the uniform scale. Alright, so that's it for the lesson. It's real short. This is just the navigation of Maya. Alright, and you can always come back to this video to review if need be. Uh, you can also rotate. Same color scheme. Alright, so that's it. Uh, enjoy that very, very, very short lesson. It's probably the shortest lesson you'll have. And yeah, um, nothing for the assignment, just get used to actually maybe making a few objects out there, rotating them around them, moving them around. Today is the day of play. Alright, and until next lesson, see you.